Once upon a time, there was a group of primary free children from Edinburgh who were learning about the ancient Egyptians. Not a vegetable. I know what it was. I know what it was. Silly hat. <laughs> no, the feather was not a silly hat. During playtime, the children were playing, and then suddenly a huge hole appeared in the ground. They were astonished. Excited and ready for adventure. This is going to be the adventure of lifetime. I always really listen to our teacher during the, during the lessons of ancient Egypt. I hope we can solve a quiz. You are fine, you are fine, so we'll be stuck here forever. When you need to remember, just move the sector and I will move the house. Thanks, Bob.
Egypt is in the north east of Africa. The river Nile flooded through the land. The ancient Egyptians lived beside the Nile because it provided water and good soil for farming. The rest of Egypt was hot, dry, desert. Guys, let's get on with the quest. Here is your first clue. If you solve this mystery, surely you will see ancient treasure artifacts will bring you into. Let's get looking. Get inside the left inside the body. When they got to the afterlife, their heart was weighed yeah. on as well gets the uh, feather. So people and royalty were mummified. The, the mummy was placed in a sarcophagus. To find your blood guide, solve this clue, the papyrus roots will speak to you. The papyrus starts to start from the tissue paper and makes read of the papyrus roots. We need to look for straws.
campus. Hmm. A pyramid! Yes, a pyramid. I am the Pharaoh's chief scribe. I keep all the official records. We are planning to build another pyramid soon. A pyramid takes a lifetime to build. Are you ready, scribe? Yes, ma'am. We'll be so tall. Every year the Rebel Mine is built the farmer who was able to get to use the soil for the crops. Ancient Egyptians built boats to use them to travel up the Nile. They built temples on the Never Nile for the gods that were leaving. So that was the god of the Nile. Bastavetat was the goddess of protection. Ra was the god of the sun and Horus was the god of the sky. Oh look, I found the last two. A cute to to Pharaoh praying to a triplet to the Mighty K. What's tribute? I think it's tax or something. People presented rich gifts when they visited the field. So we need to bring him a head. Right. Well done, all of you. I'm a friend of the time traveler. He needs to go back to Stone Age for emergency. But, but I, I'm going to the Feral Castle. You're welcome to join me. Yeah. Do you think that we can actually meet the Pharaoh? Wow, that's amazing. But Let's 
let them come forward. I'm ready to see them. Barrel oh. is not a from Scotland. I accept your gift. Ah. The tribute has been paid. I will uh, allow you all to return to Edinburgh, but oh. only on one condition. Oh. You mean your greatness? What's your condition, Sarah? I want to go to Edinburgh with you, only for a short time. Egypt is getting boring for me. I need a change. I'll ask the time traveler, please. Uh, I guess... Uh, I guess we can ask our teacher what, what a real pharaoh looks like. Now, Pebble, you know how to ask your minions to go child. Our teacher would never know. Like, Children get playtime here. Is that strange? They should be working like they did in Egypt. We're in 2020, Pharaoh! What is all this nonsense? Did you not hear the bell ringing? Playtime's over. Teacher, look, we found out what a pharaoh was. Excuse me? Hello, I'm the pharaoh of Egypt. Nice to meet you. This was the story of the children of Edinburgh and ancient Egypt. The pharaoh really enjoyed his time here. In fact, some people say he loved it so much that, that he still rules the streets of Edinburgh today.